Welcome to Chain of Lakes State Park, just another gym in Indiana, and we're going to show you what's here. one of 13 lakes here at Chain of Lakes State Park and they are connected by canals. So you can start at one and kayak, canoe, paddle boat to each lake without taking your boat out of the water. Behind me is the boat rental and the beach. there are 13 lakes at Chain of Lakes State Park. All of these lakes are natural made lakes. They were formed by the glaciers years ago. They're all connected by a stream, each one. Those are not man-built canals. canals. Those are all just connected naturally. So it's really unique here. This is really popular for kayakers. They can get in here and put in one lake and paddle through all the lakes. We were standing just right down here at Sand Lake where we did our introduction, so you got to see the all the facilities there. But if you were to start up here at Norman Lake, you could just make your way all the way down through all the different chain of lakes. Right here is the campground area, and you could make your way all the way down to Sucker Lake. I guess if you made it all the way down there, you wouldn't be a sucker, you'd be in Sucker Lake. This is one of the many streams that connect all the lakes together. You can see it's quite popular with kayakers and canoers and fishermen alike. These guys here just put in and they're headed upstream to the lakes above. I thought you'd enjoy taking a look at it and seeing what it looks like. Situated here in the park on the side of one of the lakes is the Stanley Schoolhouse built in 1915. It looks a lot like the one that they had in Little House on the Prairie. And the school bell is right over here, so we'll show you that also. Around here at the schoolhouse, there would have been an outhouse, a recess area, and the school bell, which was up in the tower, but they've moved it over here. Can you imagine being out here at recess or having your lunch and overlooking this lake? drive through Indiana, you find a lot of these one-room schoolhouses. Some of them have been converted into homes. Some of them have been converted into classrooms for educational purposes. And some of them just sit abandoned. You see them there. They've been there for a hundred years or more. This particular one has been restored. I think this map depicts something that's very interesting. So as you drive through Indiana, you can almost spot these things uh, about every four miles either the ruins of one or one that's still there. So what they would do is in the corner of, of a quadrant, they would place a one-room schoolhouse. Let me zoom in here and show you what this looks like. So what they would do here is like you see with this red dot here is they have the one-room schoolhouse that was placed in the quadrant of this in the corner here. So by placing it in the corner, it guaranteed that each kid would have to walk a minimum, uh, a maximum of two miles. So pretty much as you go through, if, as you go through Indiana, you can see that these things are about every four miles apart in populated areas here. So you can see here's one there, there's one there, one there. Um, there's one right here and they're all, as you can see, they're all in the corners of the quadrants. If you look here, here's one in this corner, there's one in this corner. And so that's the way they had the state of Indiana laid out. They have a church and a school in, the, in this quadrant um, and there's, there would be Noblesville. So anyway, I think that's interesting how they laid the state out and with education in mind early on. Unfortunately, it is closed today. But we're going to look through the window and let you see what's in there. This is our campsite and it is a great campsite. Nice and shady. It's $195. There's only one problem. We chose this for the shade and didn't pay any attention where we were at. 
We're close to the bathhouse. We're close to the general store. But across the street is the playground. <laughs> we're going to spin around here and show you this. See what we mean? So the other morning when Ed was up at 6.30 fixing breakfast and taking Herky for a walk. I was out here. All of a sudden 6.30 I hear this kid yelling to the top of his lungs. Calling all kids to the playground. <laughs> Mom's everywhere. We're cringing, I'm sure. <laughs> so it is a little loud, but uh, everybody's been respectful and it's been okay. It's just that if we had our brothers, we'd be on the opposite end from the playground. Unless you have kids, this would be the perfect spot. Right. Just a few steps from our campsite is the store. Now we've been walking around the loop and we're headed over to the store. Nancy's going to take you inside and show you what this place looks like. Of all the state parks we've been to, and we have been to a lot, this one has the best general store I have ever seen. And right outside they have like the little library. And you take a book or leave a book. So the lady was filling them up and I got two coloring books. So I'm excited about that. But come on, I have to show you this store. Let's go take a look. If they don't have it, you don't need it. Come on. This store, you can come here for the day and decide to spend the night. You can buy everything you need here. Tent, sleeping bag, pillow, awnings, hammocks. You name it, they've got it. Stove, I don't care what it is, they have it at this store. These are the personal items. Whatever you've forgotten, I'm sure they have it. Look, nail polish, nail polish remover, contact case. My daughter's always forgetting her contact case. Stoves, grills, flashlights, mats for outside of your camper, toys for kids, food, even potatoes and onions. They have so much stuff. And I got some great citronellan candles. Come look at these. So I got these great citronellan candles. Ours is pine. You can also get fire or s'mores. They work really, really good. And they have like a wood wick, so they crackle. See that? That's really cool. Can you smell that? Look at all the dog stuff. Herky would love it. ice chest, a wagon, you can pull it back to your site, and they have free air that you can air up your bicycle tires or those air mattresses that you just bought inside. What more could you ask for? We're on trail three. Headed to the beach. So we have not done a lot of hiking this weekend. It's in the 90s and it's really hot. So yes. we they've got better trails than trail three. This one's more really just a path from the campground down to the beach area. But uh, if you want to come here and hike our trail run, this is actually a trail runner's mecca. Right. Uh, a lot of ultra runners come here. They hold some pretty big event races here every year. So if you're looking for a place for trail running, this is really a good spot. Yeah, this but, path is nice and wide. But too. for us, we're not running unless somebody bigger than me is chasing me. <laughs> so, <laughs> so anyway, we're going to walk down here to the beach and uh, take a look at this. I think you'll find it really beautiful. Well, 
Well, we forgot to add, I bet everybody's wondering, where is Herky? Well, we're headed down here to the beach area and it's restricted to dogs. Oh, dogs. So, uh, even though he's a little boy, he cannot come. <laughs> so, we're going to leave him back at the camper because. In the air conditioning. Yeah. Lucky boy. As we've discussed before, he gets hot really easy with this black fur and it's it's over 90 degrees out here. So anyway, we left him back at the camper cooling off and we're headed down this trail. <laughs> we've, uh, we've emerged from trail three. 1.3 miles and a thousand mosquitoes. That was a mosquito tunnel. At one point, I just had my hat off, just fanning both of us, trying to keep the mosquitoes off. <laughs> it was off. bad. So obviously, no filming down there because, man, we there were got trying one to get away. Right now. <laughs> we, were, we were trying to run, so we basically ran the 1.3 miles. So anyway, we've emerged from the trail. We're down here by the beach. We're gonna head over that direction and show you guys. Oh man, I don't. I must have lost a pint of blood on yeah, that trail. Yeah, there's another one. Sorry. <laughs> okay, here, All right, we here we go. Well, we made it. At the end of that trail and down at the end of the parking lot is Sand Lake, and they have a big beach here. Places you can go swimming. You can rent some kayaks or canoes or whatever you'd like to do. Uh, this is pretty a nice gathering spot for families to come down and go swimming. We didn't go swimming this time, but certainly would feel good at this time. So take a look at Sand Lake. Here's what we did. We decided on the way back up that we walked the road. It's a lot longer, but man, that trail was a mosquito tunnel. Yeah, the back so, of my neck is chewed to pieces. So even though this is a longer path, there's no mosquitoes and we're just walking down the road. So we're gonna go up here to the campground. We're almost back, but we're gonna take a slight detour here because I wanna show you something. We got our water. I wanna show you something up here when we get up here. feature in here with all these lakes and it's just a nice place for a lot of fishermen to come to. They have a really nice fish cleaning station here. It's all screened so you can get in out of the bugs and that. Let me show you what it looks like inside. Well this is pretty nice. You can come in here. They've got running water here and they have bleach and everything all set up so you can clean your fish and clean up in here. <laughs> Interesting enough this fish cleaning station is actually cleaner than the bathrooms. <laughs> so yeah, you can uh, do your fish, uh, bring your fish up here and clean them. They have cutting boards here where you can lay down. Some people just walked out of here. So apparently they're catching fish down at the lake. Thought you'd find it interesting. Our time here at Chain of Lakes is over. So we are going to have some breakfast. As you see, Mr. Ed is the chef this morning. He is everything. Anyway, so we are going to have some breakfast, tear down, pack up, and we'll see you next time. See you on the next one. Herky, you ready to walk? Let's go.